So for the next part, let's go ahead and load some filament. I got some Hyper Series Creality filament, so it should be good for very fast printing. And this is like a light gray. So we want to cut our filament on an angle so it's easy to push it through. And I'm going to twist this thing around so you guys can see. So we're going to put our spool where the filament rolls out the bottom onto the spool holder. And then from the bottom up, we're going to go into the filament detector. There is a blue light that you can probably not see, but it does light up once the filament goes through. And we're going to push it all the way to the hot end, which is where the direct drive is. And so here we need to unlock it. So I'm going to flip back around. And so that's going to toggle this lever here. So locked is that way and then unlocked is this way. And so now we can push our filament through where the extruder teeth can grab it. And now we can lock it and then use the display in the settings and then extruder to extrude. So it's going to heat up the nozzle. And while we're waiting, guys, we did have this contraption that came with the printer. It is a 3D print. And I believe this is like an anti-tangle that goes here on the spool around it like this and clicks onto the holder and then kind of goes down like that. Helps it where the filament doesn't get tangled when it retracts. But in any case, we are extruding. There's a bunch of white in there and it turned into gray. Kind of extruding a lot actually, look at that. Oh, there we go, just stopped. Let's click on home. We'll move that booger there. So we should be ready to go. So let's click on file. And here are some of the things we can print. I think out of tradition, let's just start with this crazy 13 minute benchy. And that'll show off the speed and plus we'll hear how loud it is at its maximum capabilities and how quick it's all moving. So here we have a preview. The temperatures is 220 and 60 on the bed. And we can also check calibration, which I'm not going to do since the machine is probably already calibrated. So we'll click print and it starts. So it's going all the way up to home which is over there in that corner. Now it's going back down, it's very quick. Okay, so it does like a clean out nozzle scrape over there in the back. So the machine is actually not very loud, just idling. It does have cooling fans on and it's actually moderately quiet. And all the fan noises are quite pleasant. All right, so it's going back up again and now back down. So it kind of makes sense why you need this thing because as it goes up, it stretches the filament. So the filament's kind of like all over the place in the back. All right, so now it's preheating to 220 and it should purge over there and start printing. All right, it's purging. So the offset looks perfect, what I can tell. And there it goes. Wow, first layer, <laughs> ultra fast. <laughs> so this is supposed to be a 13 minute benchy. What it says here also, we got 1%. And it's boogieing along at very, very quick speeds. And surprisingly, it's shockingly quiet for how fast it's moving. I wonder if having this Core XZ has a lot to do with that. And it actually feels very stable too. So the input shaping is working very well. So I'm just gonna leave the camera running here. Yeah, 11 minutes left there. And we'll see what the Benchy looks like after it's done. Pretty incredible. I'm still blown away of how composed everything is and there's very minimal shaking. And the noise is not obnoxious at all. All right, so our little boat is done. It actually took 13 minutes, which is incredible. So we'll okay that. So if you wanted to pull off the benchy quick, you could raise the build plate and put it on something and it will cool off really fast. But let's see if the benchy pops off anyways. Okay, so it's stuck on there really well. You guys can see that. Go ahead and take this purge off. So the PEI sticks very well. So let's take a closer look here at the 13 minute Benchy. So this is optimized to be fast, meaning like it's quite lightweight and it doesn't have much infill. So yeah, the bottom looks great. You got that crinkle finish. There is a small lip, but very tiny though. We do have a little bit of sagging here, but other than that, it looks pretty good. This gray is not perfect filament as it is a little bit aged it's not a new roll or anything plus it's quite transparent with any kind of defects so you guys can easily see yeah just looking at it overall it looks great it's quite impressive how fast a benchy can come out these days and you know anything in the 13 minutes 
15 minutes, even 20 minutes is really fast. For the next part, let's go to settings and bind to Creality. So we're gonna get a little barcode there. So if you go to the Play Store, you can download the Creality Cloud app and I already have it. So I'm gonna open it up and this is what we see. So you have prints you can print. So some of these you have to pay for or use credits and others are free. They have a bunch of free ones. But on the top here, we can see this little scan button. We can actually scan the QR code here to bind our printer. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And it finds it and it shows us the printer. So we'll click done. So it's gonna add it to our devices. And down here we can see we're on workbench. Here we're on the explore button, which for searching models, whatnot else, but our workbench is where our printers are. And so these are all the printers that I have where I've connected to this app. So here we can see our new one, which is the Ender 3 V3. And if we click on it, we can actually control it here from our phone. So you can be anywhere and be able to start or stop your print, I guess. And we also have settings down here, which can control our filament detector, temperature, move, other settings. Okay, so the fans on and off. So yeah, just basic stuff. And we have a heat up button, which you can click it, it'll preheat everything. So yeah, pretty much what you expect. And what's cool about Creality Cloud is you can actually slice straight from here and print. If we go back and go to explore, let's just type in calibration cube. And so we got quite a few here to choose from. From. So let's go ahead and slice it. So it's gonna actually pull up the slicer and here we can set the printer that we have. So you do need to do this separately, but our printer is right there. Now it says Ender 3 V3 and we have a balanced profile. So you can choose from different profiles here or you can customly adjust it yourself. So yeah, it's quite comprehensive. It's just like a regular desktop slicer here right on your phone. And we can see our little calibration cube there. And we'll click on slice. So it's gonna slice it for us. And so from here we can preview or print. We'll click on print. And it's gonna show us the printer that's available. We're gonna click on our printer. We're gonna say yes, the build plate is ready to go. <laughs> click confirm. It's saying here it recommends enabling print calibration. So I guess we'll let it do its thing. So it's just gonna double check everything. and. You guys can see, can't really see because the nozzle's on the top, but it is moving and it's coming down. And we did start this calibration cube right off our phone. So it's actually quite simple, guys, to use this printer if all you do is have a phone, which everyone does. You can easily slice and make models and print without even having any kind of computer. All right, so our little cube is done and I actually printed another Benchy because I wanted to see how it'll look if it was printed normally, which took 38 minutes here, it says on the display. And it will slice the same way as this cube. So we got the 13 minute Benchy and the 38 Benchy. Let's take a quick look here at the calibration cube. So we have axes, the X. We can see it looks pretty decent. Definitely not perfect. It does look good. The lighting does sometimes make it seem like there's layers, but it's just the way the light hits the filament there. But overall, it does look clean to the eye. Here we have the Y. So the Y is our bed and it's very clean. And then the X wall, also very clean. Minimal vibrations or artifacts. And the Y wall, also very nice. And then we got the top here and the bottom. So yeah, very good print for the standard printing profile speed. So let's see this Benchy here. The bed is cooled off completely and yeah, it pops off really easy. But you guys probably be able to tell right away that this Benchy looks much better than our first one because this one is 38 minutes long and it's definitely much cleaner all around and looks really really good and the cooling is great too overhangs are great and here we have the comparison between the very fast one and the standard one pretty good on both the standard is a bit better obviously but to be honest this is not bad for being 13 minutes we could probably speed things up in the profile where we can easily get a nice benchy for 30 minutes or less or so but even at that standard speed that's quite quick already and probably not worth saving a little bit of time for the quality degradation 